go curvy. Well, look who is on the couch with me today. Stop it. I, I, I always I love missed, this part when I get you all to myself. I miss our moments on the couch. I know. Dang We're going to do this more often. And I got a kiss when I walked in. It's perfect. I know. I missed you, Gregory. Missed you too. Nice to see you. You look beautiful. So I want to call you, you are my Mr. Margarita Man. Right. Uh, we have a photo, but I have to just do a shout out to this company. Yes. There we are. Look, look it's at, their Father's look Day. At that Isn't that great? Who's not haughty? And, can I, <laughs> and I want everyone to, they're such a great company. It's connected yes. to Jimmy Buffett. Oh, uh, wow. nine, like 93, 94% name recognition in the entire world. And did Margarita I Hill. hear correctly, is that a billboard in Times Square? That is in Times Square. Wow. Go. Hashtag Margaritaville. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> 45th and 44th Street on Broadway, wow. right by Toys R Us. Uh, they're so great. Please find them out online. Find them on yes. Instagram, Twitter. And they're so great, and I love them. And their motto is, washed in the sun, dried in the ocean. Oh, that is beautiful. That is yeah, beautiful. I love them. And they have the hottest model going, so. Oh, my God, what? We're Look here. at that. <laughs> and, hey, if you, find, if you find us and you reach, reach, reach us, uh, we will have me sign one of these and send it. How great is oh, that? Oh, Greggy, that is wonderful. Isn't that great? So that, and that's that also called wonderful. job security. We love right? that, right? <laughs> we got to keep you up in Times Square. <laughs> Definitely. Well, my sweetheart, yes. we have something kind of serious to talk to about today. Yes. And I can't think of anyone better to talk about it than you. Because you. one of the, the feedback we get when you're on the show, people love your real advice. Thank you. Because you give real advice honest advice and people appreciate that so much so we're going to talk today about how to get over a breakup dun, 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 dun. right we know it's not easy it's not it's it's not easy it's not fun there's nothing good about it but i think there's ways to get over it and help yourself can i say one thing that i wanted to throw in with with, with you know yeah. first of all to joanne and delaney's father and to all our fathers yes. but what was so beautiful about what delaney said is that her mama said you know i had that love for seven years yes. and here's one thing that we all forget for those of us of us that have been in love, yeah. how great that we loved. Right. How there's people, right. there's a great there's a great study that says if you could meet a love of your life, because I believe we can have more than one, yeah. if you can meet, and you knew that they had six months to live, yeah. would you live in that love for six months or not go there? Yeah. What would you do? Absolutely live in that six months. I'd live in that six months. Yeah. Enjoy we're better every for our hour. Moments. Absolutely. Absolutely, people. I truly believe, Gregory, that people come in our lives for a reason. Reason, season, lifetime. Yeah. We 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 we've been Bam. there. Yeah. So absolutely. For those of you that have never been in love, take a leap and fall in love. And here's the thing, yeah. you 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 may just find the love of your life and live forever. Yeah. You also may be bruised and hurt and cut and scraped. Yeah. On the flip side of all of that, you become a better person. That's right. You, okay. Absolutely. Ready? Absolutely. So let's get started, yes. my sweetheart. Uh, we're going to talk, number one, one of your tips is make sure you are really done. You, you know, here's the thing. We all, we all threaten people like, oh my God, I'm so done. And then you break up for a week or yeah. I'm going to end this on a, on a text or whatever. When you're done, you know you're done. Because there's moments where if, if you and I were in a relationship and I'm still thinking it's this, what didn't I say? What didn't I do? What right. didn't I feel? Right. When you're complete and you have been fearlessly honest and said yeah. everything and yeah. been everything and just been present throughout the whole thing and when you're done, yeah. you don't think twice about it. Right, you know it, you feel it when you're done. You've said, you've done, you've been, you've loved, you've given everything you can and yeah. when you are, and I like the word complete, yeah. when you are complete, you don't look back. And here's one thing that I specifically wrote at the end of that. Ladies, men, even pets, if, you are broken up with, do not become a stalker. Yeah. Don't, because yeah. what you're doing is you're just choosing to hurt. Yeah, and you're choosing to hurt, when you do that, you hurt yourself too. Well, here's, first and foremost, you have to worry about yourself. Yeah. Because here's the thing, if somebody breaks up with you, they know what they're doing. They're yeah. breaking up with you. Yeah. And then here's the thing, they're not actually not breaking up with you, they're breaking up with the experience and the relationship. Right. When we come into relationships, we want people to fix us. And, yeah. you know, I'm going to be I'm going to be 50 and you're going to be 50. Why not walk into a relationship at 100 percent yeah. and have someone just compliment that? Right. So wonderful advice. Wonderful advice. Stick to the facts of the breakup. What do you mean by that, Gregory? Well, what, what do you think that is? I, I'm thinking don't bring everything that's happened in your relationship back in. Stick to why 
Like, don't bring everything that happened like 10 years ago back in. Well, here, well here's the thing, especially like in the form that we're talking about. Just, you know, if we're in a relationship and I'm like, you know, Shirley, and this is how I would do a relationship. Yeah. Shirley, you know, thank you for the time. I, I love you and this has been great. But you know what, this is not really, this is not working for me. And I feel yeah. we have different wants and needs and the chemical connection is not fully there for me. Right. I'm doing it eloquently, gracefully, and being honest. Yeah. What then happens for the person that's broken up with, with is, oh my gosh, they think I was overweight, underweight. Right. They think I did this. They think I wasn't pretty. I wasn't yep. handsome. They create this story, which then creates the suffering, and that's not what happened. What happened yes. is, it's called a relationship. You relate with other people. Yeah. You as, hopefully, adults, and even for, you, for the teenagers, they get together especially when it's most painful and it's the first, don't rewrite history. The truth is, this didn't work. Yeah. Move on. Yeah. Stick to the facts. Stick to the facts. And also, don't rewrite something that's not there. Yeah. You know why you ended a relationship. You know why you weren't happy. In your most private, deepest moments, you know what works, you know what doesn't work. And we settle for things that don't work. Right. right. Don't settle. Don't settle. Don't settle. We are goodness, dang it. Yeah. Don't settle. Your breakup is with you and your ex only. Keep it between you and your ex. We all, we, we all want our teams. Yeah. Uh, hey, it's me. Yeah, I hate them. Hey, it's me. Yeah, I hate them. Oh, my gosh. Please unfriend them. Please take them off Facebook. Yeah. Don't talk to them. Here's the deal. It's a relationship between me and my... I don't believe in taking sides. If And here's the deal. If you're in a relationship where there is a loyalty somewhere and there's not a loyalty, yeah. then have a conversation. Hey, you know, Shirley, right. I really love you, but I'm really great friends with Delany still. And right. it's not that I don't hope that we can't be friendly yes. one day. I know we need a moment to breathe. Yeah. This is a great relationship. Yeah. Then you get the moment to say, hey, you know what? That becomes uncomfortable for me. Yeah. Let's revisit it in a month or so. Right. You know, Delany will know. And if she's my new friend, yeah. she'll get through it. But don't build your army of all these people and get them hating on something. Because that's just, it doesn't work. And you know what it also does? It gets you back into that pity party and it you does. become a sufferer. It does. All you do is suffer in the, oh my God, I'm still, oh my God, look what happened. Oh my God, look what happened yeah. to me. Oh my God, look how bad this is. The pity party. No stop pity, pity party. party. Stop, stop it, stop it, stop it. Eric, I wonder. I was wondering when I read this, your advice. Yes. Take what you need and leave the rest. Here's the great thing: when when any of us meet someone, yeah, we 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 look at the whole thing. And here's the thing: in the relationships that I've been blessed to have, yeah, I've had some really lovely relationships. There were some things that I didn't need to take with me into the future. Right. So I can leave that in the past. Because here's the thing. Yeah. An ex is called an ex for a reason. Right. The past is the past because the past is back there. It's gone. It's behind so you. So I'm going to take what it's like to be a gentleman. I'm going to take what it's like to be romantic. I'm going to take what it's like yeah. to, you know, when, when my partner comes home or my special love comes home that I need to greet them at the door or let them feel like they're important. I'm going to take all that goodness. Yeah. Then the stuff that didn't work, I'll look at it, realize why it didn't work, then tuck it away and put it in the past and go, you know what? Yeah. Thank you so much. I learned from that. I'm here now, and I can be a stronger, better man going forward. Oh, that's wonderful. Take leave what you it leave in the, the past. Rest. Leave the crap behind. Yeah. And when I say that, we know what the crap is. We know what didn't we work. We do. We absolutely Period. do. And last yes. but not least, and I know I've heard you say this many times, and I love it. An X is an X for a reason. Yeah, that's what I just said. Yeah. You know, there's some really beautiful things. You know, getting over a relationship is. Maybe taking a few months off and writing and, and having a face to face. Yes. Maybe it's writing a letter, an, an angry letter, and not sending it. Maybe it's mm -hmm. writing a letter and sending it. And here's the deal when you meet somebody, they had you at hello. Yeah. There was this connection of you're beautiful, you're handsome, you're hot, you're sexy, and then it gets destroyed by all these fake stories and these yeah. smashing them. End it with eloquence and grace and go, you know what? Thank you for being in my life. Yeah. Thank you for what we experienced and then move on with your life, and then get to know who you are, because we all get lost in relationships. Yeah, we Come do. home. This, Come this home. is home. Yeah. Go back home. And this is, celebrate this, right? Celebrate you. Absolutely. If I can't celebrate this at 100%, how can someone possi possibly celebrate it? With you. With me. So true. Oh, Gregory Zarin, thank yes. you so much. We love your real advice. 
Your advice comes from the heart. It does. And I think Thank that's you. what we love so much about you, and our Go Curvy viewers love you. Can Please I come throw? Back I will. I, look, I was invited by the host to come back. <laughs> and I got to do a special shout out to my older brother, Vincent. Yes. And his wife, Maria, and the most amazing nephews, Alexander oh, and Christian. That Vincent, is so I love you. Wonderful. Vincent, I love you very much. Happy Father's Day. Happy and, um, Father's Day. Oh, yeah, thank you for having me. Thank love being you, on, sweetheart. Thank I love being you. on your couch. Oh, I love having you on my couch. Come back Ooh, often. I, yeah, get comfortable. I'm going to look at you. With there we go. <laughs> Loving arms. Oh, my sweetheart. You know what? Yes. I always. You're curvy by.